Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkle. Hello. And we're going to talk about a Netflix price hike. Uh, this is coming after the stalled strike negotiations. Congratulations, guys. Yes. Uh, you're making sure that Netflix costs more. They were probably going to raise the prices anyway. But... Yeah, they, they, they were. I mean, everybody else is raising the prices. I can't think they weren't going to. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this. We have another video coming later today talking about the celebrities kicking into the, the union fund. But we're going to talk about Netflix's reaction. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And rants, guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, also, go out to shopclownfish.com. Uh, about a day ago, we put up the pre orders for Shadowbinders Volume 3. It's the first new Shadowbinders in like 10 years. And we're going to continue this thing. So go out and uh, secure your copy now. Help support independent comics. And if books. you missed one and two, there, there are a few available. We have some available, Because yes. we have some left, but not a lot, so. Yeah, so hurry, 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 buy your comic books. Uh, trying to keep our prices, trying to keep our prices down. Yeah, right. Everything's right. going up. Um, so yeah, this is going from CBR. They got it from where? The Verge. We'll, we'll go their version of it first and then go out to The Verge. Uh, Netflix confirms price hike after stalled strike negotiations. After the latest SAG after strike talk stalled, Netflix confirms the company's plan to eminently raise prices for subscribers. Well, they got to pay for all the, the perks somehow with the, they've given to the different unions. Yeah, right. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, the reason that the strikes are continuing in Hollywood is that the Actors Guild, the Actors Union, SAG-AFTRA, uh, they went to the studios, including Netflix, and said, hey guys, uh, we're gonna drop this on you, but we want like a buck per subscriber, and that money is gonna go to our union directly. slush fund. Yeah, we're not telling whatever. you, we don't decide what for, other than just directly to the union, for us to decide what to do with it. Yeah, Fran Drescher needs a new new, new coat, I guess, I, I don't know. For that um, designer. <laughs> designer, I don't know, but uh, that apparently that that is their version of the story. That apparently stopped the talks. Uh, Ted Sarandos not happy. David Zaslav not happy. And now all of a sudden a price hike. But you know what they're probably gonna do? I mean, look th at the end of the day, it's like bad guys and worse guys. So um, I think the the unions are kind of sleazy, but I also think the studios are sleazy. Yeah. So they're going to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to raise our prices anyway. Blame the actors. Yeah. But the flip side <laughs> is, you know, everybody when they OK, if you keep saying you support the writers and actors and that they should get more money and you need to make sure that you do not cancel your subscriptions, to these streaming services, no matter how much they raise the prices, because that money needs to go to help support them to have more shows and, and work for these people. They get more money and it's going to be you that pays it. And since you all want them to get more money, you have to pay that money. If you don't pay that money, you're a hypocritical asshole because, you, you know, I don't care if you can't afford it. You need to pay it because they deserved it and everybody should give it to them. That's right. So That's if right. you don't keep your subscriptions up, then they aren't going to get uh, the money that they should be getting. So they're getting another increase. This is what they're raising the rates to uh, starting today. Oh, wow. Yeah. Start. So it just hit that. Like yes. they, didn't give you, they didn't even give you a running start. Nope. Because usually like Disney, they'll tell you, hey, in another couple months, we're going to raise it. I might have mentioned it before. It's just that it started today. There's like starting today, right after the third quarter earning results. Uh, users on the $9.99 basic plan now have to pony up $11.99. Uh, people paying $19.99 for premium have to pay $22.99. Uh, the ad supported tier at $6.99 stays the same. And there's a $15.49 standard tier. I This is really confusing. I remember Netflix when it was like... It was like one price? Yeah. And that was like, okay... How many DVDs do you want? Oh, yeah. Well, it did that. It was, yeah, depending on how many that. you wanted, it was more expensive. And it was like, okay. I thought you the, meant streaming. But oh, yeah. no, the, no, because the streaming was thrown in. I remember it was like originally it was how many DVDs do you want? Do you want like two or three DVDs at a time? We'd usually do like one. And then then they're like, oh, hey, we got this new streaming thing. This new, this new like you can get the internet uh, TV for free. I think they did it for free for free. Then they were like, okay, this is next or however many dollars a month. And then they just kind of took the DVDs away. Well, then, here um, we are. It too, it depends on how many, a lot of it comes down to how many screens you want to use it on. Yeah, we have to do the premium because it never fails. Like you can't coordinate in the house because we got the kids. It's like, hey, mom wants to watch her K-drama. All of the kids are true. watching. I am watching the K-drama on Netflix like every day. And we've had that happen where she's like, I want to watch my K-drama. Well, no, nope, somebody's watching something. It's a problem. We're not allowed to, so we got to pay more and make sure everybody can watch their own Netflix. I don't even, 
I don't even watch any of this stuff. I'm going to be honest. Like I'm sitting here ever since Roku TV and Tubi, I'm being completely honest. I don't watch any of these. I don't watch Netflix. I don't watch very seldom. You watch like, Hulu sometimes for the, for the shows, like your yeah, Ancient Aliens. Yeah, stuff, I like my Ancient Aliens. But I can confirm. It keeps leaving it on these these shows, and they're really weird shows they're dumb, that I don't like, want to watch. And I'm just like, why are we watching this? Because it's like, to me, it's like it's like old school TV. It's like linear TV. You just basically find a channel, set it to the channel, then you go do your thing and leave it on the background. I just like, I'll tune yeah. out from my cage. I'm off my iPad for a minute. I'm like, what are you doing? But anyway. everybody's like watching their own stuff. The kids are watching on their phones. Uh, you're watching on your iPad and I'm watching, I'm the only one that watches TV. I don't, TV, I, I don't think, watch, anymore. They, yeah, the kids are on their phones constantly watching yes. it. And I just, I can't do it on that little screen. Anyway, I think another thing about this is they're keeping their, their ad supported. Um, tiers yeah. and stuff like that. So they're, are they, they're keeping the ad supported tiers the same. Yeah. Ad supports the same. Yeah, and, because they get the double dip and they want everybody to be like, oh, shit, that's too much money. I'm going to downgrade. But they're actually going to make more money per person off of you with the advertising because God knows there are a lot of ads. You know, if it's anything like I mean, we don't have the ad support tier for Netflix, but if it's anything like Hulu or if it's anything like Roku TV, it's like ads, 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 ads. Ads. I'm sorry. I was looking at the at the basic. You get like no HD and you get one screen. And it's twelve dollars a month. God, that's. That's stupid. It used to be unlimited, whatever, and then now they're cracking down the password sharing. I think that's yeah, it's really confusing. I mean, we're gonna get to a point where like Netflix and Disney Plus and all it's gonna cost as much as cable. Like it's gonna be whatever like, is there. I mean, if you combine them all, but I think like one of them are gonna cost like a hundred dollars a month. I'm not oh, even kidding. I think it's not gonna, for a long time. Closest I could think is like Disney Plus years. or Hulu. Yeah, Disney Plus and Hulu is there. It's like we're talking $85 a month now. That's like as much as we were paying for DirecTV back mm -hmm. in the day. That's that's insane. And not nearly as many channels, you know. So this is what they said. Uh, they said, as we deliver more value to our members, we occasionally ask them to pay a bit more. Sure. Uh, our starting price is extremely competitive with other streamers. And at $6.99 per month. For one the, screen. For one screen in the U.S., it's much less than the average price of a single movie ticket. For, oh. for, no, for standard definition of one screen. Yeah. Yeah. So earlier this month, the Wall Street Journal reported the streamer would raise the cost of subscriptions uh, a few months after the Hollywood actor strike ends. Now it's happened even though the actors are still yeah. striking. They probably expected it I do remember hearing over. about it. And, and I, I didn't expect it to be this quick. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it to be this quick either. And th they have an out. I mean, this is just like everything else. Like the strike actually helped the studios. It helped the studios save money. It helped the studios have a scapegoat because they can cancel stuff that they were terrified to cancel before because they knew they were going to get social media backlash. Now they can just be like, oh, all the strike. We can't do it. Here, this is what's interesting to me. Okay. Over the past few months, Netflix has added 8.76 million new subscribers, bringing in their total to 247.15 million. In addition to the password sharing crackdown exceeding expectations, people going to, to get their own subscriptions because they couldn't steal their friends, <laughs> Netflix also saw significant gains to its ad-supported plan, yes. with membership increasing almost 70% quarter over quarter, which is what Disney was saying. I like think theirs was 40%. Yeah. This is what they want you to do. They want you to go to the ad-supported plans because they cost significantly less, and then they can turn around and get paid by you that more than covers the cost, and then go and triple, quadruple dip with the advertisers. And the more of you that, that jump to that plan, the more eyeballs they can sell to advertisers for a lot more money. So they get paid way more if you're on the ad-supported plan. That's why they, they're trying to raise prices, too, mm -hmm. to get people to, to change the ad-supported plan so they can say, oh, we have more people you can advertise to, and that costs more money. Yes. And they get to pocket it. Yeah, because they, they are going to make more because what's going on now is so many uh, advertising agencies are pivoting to video ads, you know, so they're they're probably going to make a lot more money than, you know, so that six ninety nine customer might actually be worth, you know, five or six, you know, premium customers. Yeah, with advertising dollars. Yeah. So, so what they keep raising the prices. They're hoping people downgrade to the ad supported. Isn't that diabolical? Isn't that but diabolical? I've been talking about this for months. I don't understand. That. I mean, it's no shocker. I've been saying it. Yeah, of course they're going to go up subscribers if people have to go get their own account, and they're mm -hmm. probably going to get the cheap one. But as I said, 30% increase in new yeah. signups on the cheapest tier. Yep. Because they'll be like, oh, I can't sponge off my parents' uh, Netflix anymore, but I can't afford $22 a month, so I'll just, you know, get the basic. And if you're living by yourself, you really only need the basic Netflix, you know, if you're fine with ads. But they do have uh, Squid Game. Coming back, I guess the reality. Oh, the reality show. The Squid, yes. 
Okay, they're not they're making, actually they're making another Squid Game too, but that's, that's yeah. I thought not... they were making Squid Game too. They're they not are. actually killing people in this one, though, are they? No, because that would be horrifying. That's pay per view. The Scott Pilgrim anime. I'm at. Okay, I haven't really watched anything on Netflix in a while. I am going to watch the Scott Pilgrim anime because I freaking love Scott Pilgrim. I do. I love the movie. I love the comics. I, I think I have all the comics in hardcover. Uh, and this is like a mashup of the two. And yeah, I don't really care for Brie Larson, but whatever. She's just the voice. Uh, I will I will be watching that. So. so I'm looking at the prices from like the last like few years. And it's interesting to me uh, how far apart they keep spreading. Like you have your, your basic um, that was the, the, the now they have standard with ads as their new lowest price. But you start out with your basic being $7.99 and your premium being $11.99. Not much of yep. a difference. And then you go, as you go, you go, it moves up. And then that goes up a dollar, but this goes up significantly every year until now it's more than, um, it's like $10 more plus, $11 more to buy it. Yeah. As opposed to 2 or $3 is, you know, stayed at for a while. And then it's kind of just kept going apart. The place where it's almost good. It's almost double. Yeah. So that that's it. But they'll say, well, it's because we have more, you know, original content now, which is true. But like 90% of what Netflix produces isn't worth paying for. You know, it's just that that mm-hmm. they get they get a couple of hits here and there. They get One Piece, they get Stranger Things, they get Squid Game. But like, there's like maybe a dozen shows on Netflix that are actually worth paying for. You know, but that's what they're going to use as an excuse. Like, yeah, oh yeah, One Piece wasn't cheap. You know, Scott Pilgrim wasn't cheap, so we got to you know charge people more. Plus, those actors, those damn actors, they're not cheap either. They want more money. They want they want your money. Blame them. Two dollars for us, another dollar for them. That's how that works. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Check out uh, Shadow Binders on shopclownfish.com, and we'll talk later. Bye.